In this example, we will solve the recurrence relation using the method of inspection. We're asked to solve the recurrence relation a sub n equals a sub n minus one plus two n with a sub zero equal to three. I've already generated several of the terms in the sequence, but let's look at these in more detail so that we can identify a pattern and then use the method of inspection to determine a closed formula. First we know a sub zero is equal to three, a sub one is equal to a sub zero plus two times one, which is three plus two times one, or five. A sub two is equal to a sub one plus two times two, which is nine, but we can write a sub two as three plus two times one plus two times two. A sub three is equal to a sub two plus two times three, which is 15, but we can also write a sub three as three plus two times one plus two times two plus two times three. Notice how the terms are three plus the sum of an arithmetic sequence. In general, a sub n is equal to a sub n minus one plus two n, which we can write as a sub n equals three plus two times one plus two times two plus two times three, all the way out to plus two times n. This indicates we can write a sub n as three plus the sum from k equals one to n of two k. And we should recognize this sum as the sum of an arithmetic sequence, and we can determine the closed formula either using the reverse and add method or the partial sums formula for an arithmetic sequence below. I'm gonna go and show both methods. In this case, notice the first term in the arithmetic sequence is a sub one. So using the arithmetic series partial sum formula, where the first term is a sub one, a sub n is equal to three plus n divided by two times the quantity two plus two n, where two is a sub one and a sub n is two n. Simplifying, we have a sub n equals three plus n times the quantity n plus one. We can also multiply this out and express a sub n as a sub n equals n squared plus n plus three. I also wanna show how to determine the sum of the arithmetic sequence using the method of reverse and add. Let's do this on the next slide. The first step is to write the sum of the arithmetic sequence as an equation where we have s equals two plus four plus six all the way out to plus two n. For the next equation, we reverse the order of the sum, which gives us s equals two n plus two times the quantity n minus one, plus dot 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 plus four plus two. And now we add the equations together. On the left, we have s plus s, which is two s. On the right, all the sums are the same. All the sums are two plus two n. So now the question becomes, how many sums of two plus two n do we have? Well, there are n terms in the sum, and therefore we're summing n two plus n's. We can now write the equation as two s equals n times the quantity two plus two n. To solve for s, we divide both sides by two, which gives us the sum is equal to n times the quantity n plus one, which means you can write a sub n as a sub n equals three plus n times the quantity n plus one, or a sub n equals n squared plus n plus three. This is the closed formula for the sequence, and therefore this is the solution to the recurrence relation. I hope you found this helpful.